ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday afternoon, the 21st of January. Many people taking the day off, but hey, we're working and you're watching, so let's talk about the weather. And yeah, buddy, snow is still on the ground up at Mount Sheehaw. That's our sky cam looking down toward the park entrance. That's Alabama's highest mountain just south of Anniston. And by golly, snow is still on the ground. If you look real hard down in Clanton, look down there in those grassy areas at the uh, City Hall Underneath those trees, yeah. Uh, many parts of Chilton County had over three inches of snow Saturday. And for Birmingham, it's a sunny and cool January day. There's water vapor satellite imagery. You can see that next wave coming at us over Texas. And that will be easing in here tomorrow with uh, some rain at times. Temperatures are moderating, but, man, it's still cold up north. At 1 o'clock this afternoon, it's still three below zero at International Falls, Minnesota. Looks like uh, readings around 1 over northern Wisconsin. And even around here, we're only in the 40s. You know, we had expected to be close to 50 today, but it looks like uh, I don't think we'll make that. So we'll drop off pretty quickly this evening the, until the clouds begin moving in, which brings the question up, could we see a little freezing rain in spots tomorrow morning? There's the QPF graphic, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one quarter to one half inch for the northern half of the state, and probably a quarter inch is more like it because of the limited moisture tomorrow. Let's go through model output. This is the 12Z GFS, and uh, you can see the strong trough north of us, and a little piece of that will be coming through the southern branch, and at the surface we'll have that rain tomorrow, periods of rain. And again, uh, the dew points are going to be awfully low early in the day. And, you know, the old wet bulb cooling thing, it will have the evaporative cooling process going on here. And, and I think there's a real possibility that could lead to a little freezing rain, especially in the colder valleys of uh, North Alabama tomorrow morning. So just be aware of that and just be careful crossing over a bridge if you're traveling at 4 or 5 or 6 o'clock and if rain is falling. But that will be all rain during the day. Uh, Wednesday, that wave is on by. The weather will be dry and cool. Again, I don't think we reach 50. And Thursday, here comes a strong trough developing over the east. A cold front comes in, but it should come through in dry fashion Wednesday night or Thursday morning. But cold air advection will be the story, so Thursday will be even colder. We're talking high, a high only around 40. We'll be in the 30s much of the day with a very brisk north wind. That'll be a raw day. And Friday, that surface high should be pretty close to us in the morning, so again, we should go down there in the low 20s early Friday morning with a high only in the 40s, and it should be a sunny day. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, here comes some more rain in here, and again, maybe early in the day there could be a smidgen of freezing rain, kind of like the thing tomorrow morning, but mostly a, a rain event, and it almost looks like a warm front pushing north out of the gulf there. And then on Sunday, we got that strong trough uh, digging down across the central plain states, and at the surface, again, it just looks like there's a warm front sitting over Interstate 20 with the rain north of that front. And if that's the case, we should be up in the uh, maybe low 60s by Sunday with a better chance of rain over the northern third of the state. Uh, so we will mention a chance of showers on Saturday and Sunday, but I don't think the weekend will be a total washout, and I do think we warm up. And then Monday of next week, we're still in that uh, stall front there with a, a good chance of showers and storms. So for a state that still needs rain badly, that's good. Three opportunities for rain back to back to back, Sunday, Monday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Now, let's go deeper into voodoo country. This is valid the 3rd of February, and uh, this system is still on the board. A strong trough just west of here. And down below that, we've got a weather system developing. Now, this time, the surface low, instead of being south of here, is north of here. And that does have a chance of snow down into north Mississippi and around Memphis. And again, uh, we'll just kind of watch the evolution of this thing and see how it all pans out. The last map we showed just showed a big snowstorm here, but now it does not, and that will change again from day to day as we get closer. Once we get within about seven days, we feel comfortable, you know, forecasting something. But just to let you know, the idea is on the table there around the 3rd of uh, February. And then on the 6th, at the end of the cycle, another good-looking trough off to the west. And by golly, that looks wet. And it just seems like the pattern is screaming colder than normal, and wetter than normal, a complete reversal of what we had for most of last year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, the next video here by 
7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.